Hello everybody. Have you often called the transaction SPRO and clicked through the large configuration tree? Then you have probably and wondered how to find the right transaction code for certain configuration paths. This video will save you time and effort. We see here the SPRO, the configuration tree, and we search for the string roles. Then double click to maintain roles, for example. Then we see the entry in the tree here. Double click or click. And here we can maintain roles. If we click here on the right side, the transaction is PFCG. But this is not all, this is not for every entry in the tree. For example, if we search for purchasing groups, then we double click here on create purchasing group. Then on the entry create purchasing groups. And here is the menu to create one. Then if we click here on the right side, we see the transaction as pro. But to see the right transaction, there's a small trick. We go one step back. We mark the entry here and then we click on additional information, display key and IMG activity. Now we have another column and here we see a string and the last four letters of this string, this is the transaction to the menu create purchasing groups. So we create a new window with slash O, then we type in the four letters O M E four. And here we jump directly to the application purchasing groups overview. So if we have to create purchasing groups, we have to create sales offices as well. For this, we search for sales office. Then we see the menu maintain sales office, double click. Here click, and this is the app sales office overview. And again, we see only the transaction S pro on the right side. So again, step back, then we mark the entry at additional information display key IMG. And here again, the last four letters O V X one is the transaction for the sales office overview. We check this again. And here we are, change view sales office overview. And now we can create here new entries and so on. Yes, a great tip from my point of view simplifies the documentation of process sequences as you don't always have to go through the extensive menu of the transaction as pro. I've been at it for a few years now, but this tip was still new to me. How is it with you? If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. Your comments are always welcome and I look forward to reading them. Stay tuned and see you in the next video.